there are more than just toques on this 21st annual Toque Tuesday at Market Square in St. Catharines. There's a pancake breakfast and an important cause. This sort of helps us bring attention to the issue of homelessness and it's uh, raising the roof and this is happening all over Canada. And what we're saying is we're selling toques, which bring awareness to the issue of homelessness. And we're saying it's not about the toque, it's about the issue that you're addressing by buying a toque and saying that you're supporting the initiatives that are ongoing to look after the homelessness issue. Why is this important? Because it gives us the ability to tell our story, to bring to light what the issues are and what are the concerns and why so many of our people are homeless. You said it's the 21st annual. How has it grown through the years? Well, it's really fun to watch. I can remember the first year Mayor Tim Rigby was here and we were running back and forth to the washroom which uh, to make the get the water for the coffee and everything else like that. And the pancakes, were we flipping them? And I don't know who remembers Art Smith, but Art Smith was around and Art Smith used to uh, help us with the pancakes. And this year it's Enbridge and God bless uh, Angelo from uh, the Holiday Inn because he's our sausage sponsor. So we're very grateful to Angelo. And the once again, an Accenture, a new partner on board, has come down to help us. Yeah, so they're new in the core block. So they called up and said, what can we do? So they're coming down to help us today. And they have a wonderful check to present to us later on in the morning. So we're pretty excited about that. Catherine, what is the housing situation now in this area? In crisis and dire. We have so many people that are experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness. So, yeah, it's the rents are too high for people who are low income, uh, too high for people who are working even, uh, too high to even put two months together to get into a place. Uh, and there's not enough housing for people. The rooming situation is also not great, so we have a lot of single people. We're seeing more singles and more seniors now in the last two years than we've ever seen before. Well, people will be watching this. What do you want them to know? I want them to know that it's everybody's responsibility, not just the government and not just tax dollars. I want them to start thinking differently about how we look in, at, at our community and especially the most vulnerable. And the most vulnerable means the people who are uh, low income, working a couple of jobs, not just the people on social assistance, also the people who are experiencing some sort of disability and, and challenge. And it could be any one of us at any given day because it doesn't take very long to unravel. There are more than just toques here this year. I noticed that you bought something else. What did you get? I got a baseball cap and I've got enough toques. This has been going on for 21 years. So I got a lot of toques and I thought baseball cap that I could wear all year round as well to support community care, this is what it's about. And the community is generous, aren't they? Oh, we have a, look at this, it's, it's, it's packed. So we're at Market Square, it's Took Tuesday, it's packed. These are people that care. They want to make a difference in any way that they can. And this is what St. Catharines is all about. We're a compassionate community. It might be early in the morning, but that didn't stop the many people from coming out to enjoy some delicious pancakes and support community care. In St. Catharines, I'm Brenda Schultz, reporting for The Source.